EasyBib is a bibliography creator that will also help you create your source cards. Our students all have easy access to EasyBib using their TCA Docs login. Go to easybib.com and click on Login. On this screen, choose Sign in with Google. The next screen will display your Google Docs login information. If you have logged in to other Gmail accounts on your computer, more than one account may display. Choose your TCA Docs account. If your TCA Docs account does not display, click Use another account and add your TCA Docs, lo Docs login. Use your TCA Docs password. On this screen, um, you'll, if you have used EasyBib in the past, you may have some projects listed here. Otherwise, you'll see this no projects found listed here. Click on the red new project button. In the create project window, name your project. I'm gonna call it state report and you don't need to fill out any other information. Click the create button and now you'll see your project listed here. Click on bibliography. At this time, you will use EasyBib to create your source cards. Later, you will, you will return to EasyBib to create your bibliography. Let's start by looking at a book. So along the top here, you'll see the tabs. We're going to click on book. My book is titled Misery, and I'm pretty sure there are many books by that title. So I'm going to search by ISBN number. The ISBN number can usually be found on the back of the book cover in the lower right corner. So I've typed the number in here and I'm going to click cite it. Immediately I get the name of some books called Missouri. These are the author of my book is Michelle Bennett and notice that there, these are two different publication dates by two different publishing companies. So I'm going to verify which of these is my book. In this case, I know it's this one, and I'll click Cite It. So it shows me here the information that was found, and I will continue to the final step. Here, I want to make sure that I choose the right tab here. My book is in print, but if yours is an ebook, select ebook online or ebook other. This one is in print. Citing, I'm going to choose the whole book. Then the rest of the information is already filled out here, but it's up to the student to verify if this information is correct. So for example, if you notice that this is the wrong publication uh, year or publisher, you need to go ahead and correct that right here. You can click right in here and type. If this is correct, then click Create Citation. And here's the information I need right here. Copy that onto the source card and add the source number in the upper right hand corner. So now let's do a website. Click on the website link and paste the URL. Um, here is a page, a web page on Langston Hughes, a poet. I'm going to click up here, copy that URL, and then go back over to EasyBid and paste it right here, and then click Cite It. It's going to show me the web page that uh, EasyBid found. If that's correct, then I'm going to click Cite It again. And then here's all the information that was found, and then they also have listed one piece of information that was not found. I'm going to go ahead and continue to the final step. On this screen, I'm going to verify the information that's here. So the website title, the publisher or sponsor, the exact URL, um, the date it was published, and the notice there's an orange section right here that uh, is missing. So I'll go back. It's, this is the author of the 
um, article that's missing. So I'm going to go back to my web page and scroll down. I don't see an author's name here. I'll scroll down, scroll down to the bottom. Sometimes the author's name is at the bottom, but there is not an author's name for this article. So I'll come back here and leave that blank. Then I'll click Create Citation. And here is my um, complete citation. Copy that onto the source card and add the source number in the upper right hand corner. Continue until you've um, done all of your sources.